Hi lovely people, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate, this is my library and in today's video we have a dual unboxing but also a comparison. So my thoughts are that we would unbox them one after the other and we will see the comparison between which one's better really it's going to be a battle of the book boxes um i realize there are other more book boxes out there like luma crate and some others i don't know i don't know that many um if you have any that you know please leave them in the comments down below i really appreciate it um and then i'll sort them out and we'll see get one of them and we'll see which one works best really um but my thought is we will go through the boxes and we will look at the items, the book, and we'll give them about a rating out of five. Um, five or ten. We'll give them a rating out of ten. How about that? Um, and we'll see which one's the better one. Um, I haven't looked at either of them yet, so it is going to be a full surprise for both. I believe they're both the July box. Let me just check. This one doesn't say on the outside. I know the fairy loot is the July Yes, the Fairy Loot's the July, the Owl Crate's the July, so it's a July off. Um, I realise it's August, but yeah, that happens. Um, first off, let's look on the outside. Um, there is a size difference. One is bigger than the other, um, both that way and that way, so who knows. But never judge a book box by its size new thing i don't know um we might actually start with fairy loot one that i've had multiple times we will see what is in the box i also apologize for any chewing noises they're down there being pains um but yes let's have a look okay so first things first packed with this sort of paper i'm gonna put it down there um i have this spoiler card which gives us the theme. The theme of the month is Cruel Intentions. Oh, that kind of looks cool. So it looks like an assassin lady going to kill this gentleman who looks like he has magic. So we're going to find out. Okay, first things first. We have Monster Family Cress uh, Coaster Set, which looks kind of cool. We had coaster sets previously. Um, they were more based off... Poisonous Plants. I think it was from the Belladonna series, so that's cool. So we've got some coasters. Let's have a look. So we have, are you going to focus? We have a mermaid. We have, what is that? Two-headed dog, kind of a Severus. We have a cute fox. And then we have, I think that's a phoenix. Yeah, that's a phoenix. Cool. They're cool. Um, I love the design and the look of them too. And the mermaid has a trident. So that's pretty good. I do like them. Um, so the coasters are designed by Bluely Boo. Bluely Boo. Uh, this pastel, uh, pastel coaster showcased the family crest from Vanessa Lenz's captivating novel Only a Monster. I do have that, I believe, on my shelf. I haven't read it yet, though. So, anyway. The next we have is a Nightmare Pin. Oh, you're going to focus? Hello? We're having trouble focusing today. It is a Nightmare Pin designed by No One Designs. Okay, let's have a... Oh, that's cool. The Nightmare Pin. So let's have a look. It's meant to be like the... Um, I think it's meant to be like the card from um, One Dark Window because I've just started watching that. I'm watching it. Reading it. You can't watch it. I can watch it in my head, but I'm reading it. Um, it is, yes, by Rachel Gilligas. Can't pronounce it. One Dark Window. This enamel pin captures the nightmare, one of the province cards. That's really cool. I like that. You can even see, like, the little eyes. Uh, can you focus on it? That is cool. I do like that. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So far, two for two. 
Okay, the next one we have Cruel Intentions Magnetic Bookmarks by No One Designs as well. It comes in this envelope. Oh, they're cool. Oh, okay. I don't know what swords they're from, but that's cool. And they have um, foiling on them as well. So the first one looks like a winged one with wings on it. The next one's got like a potion at the end with ivory wrapped around it. And the other one looks kind of like a battle axe. I don't know. Magnetic bookmarks. Take revenge, uh, revenge takes on an elegant shade of pink with these cruel intentions magnetic bookmark. Indulge in their beauty and add a touch of glamour to your reading experience. Who knows? I don't know if they're based off anything in particular, but they're kind of cool. Let me put them back. Okay, the next thing we have some socks. I do like their socks, so that's good. Um, they're crew socks. Um, they're based on the Wicked King. Have not read that, but, you know. Um, so they're kind of cool, but they're kind of nice socks. I do like their socks, they're kind of nice and thick and, you know, it kind of looks like more of a universal design rather than just for that. Okay. Oh, we have another magical secret book. This is Book of Fate Hollow Book. Um, it's got like a, um, what's it called? Crystal ball on the back. I'm not a big fan. Like, I am a, f I do like them, but they could be executed better. Like, I think it was the, f not the fairy loot, the owl crate ones that were metal and they were so much better, but you know, um, so this is the book of fate and it's on the back design. Hopefully you can see. And then on this side, and then we have like the edges and we open it up and it has the ex liberas in it and then a little thingy to stop it going, but we had one of those previously. I don't know where I put it. I don't know. It's somewhere. I don't know where I put it, actually. It's green. I know that. Cool. Anyway. The other one of this is somewhere in this room. Might be on my desk. Might be somewhere. I don't know, but it's cool, but meh. So the secret book, Discover the Enchanting Book of Fate, the second volume in our secret book collection by Magical Tomes. Safeguard your fairy lit collectible tarots within these pages. Well, I have a lovely little tarot bag from um, the Quirky Cup Collective. So anyway, get the book out. But we'll have a look at the tarots. Oh my God. Okay, I think Fairy Loot may have just redeemed themselves. I don't care about the book right now. I care about these tarot cards. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> these are the tarot cards. These are the tarot cards. And it's the Knight of Stars and the Page of Stars. <gasps> Elizabeth and Nathaniel from Mysteries of Thorn Manor. Because... She's got the, the white in her hair, so it must be from Mysteries of Thorn Manor. Like, oh my god. And Silas. Look at Silas as a cat. There we go. But, like, how beautiful is that? And then look at this one. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, they're gorgeous. Okay, let's look at the book then. So, yeah, the tarot cards are Nathaniel and Elizabeth um, from Sorcerer of Thorns. Yeah, it's actually Mystery of Thorns Manor, but anyway. Oh, this book is cute. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I see what you did there. Oh, the bookmark got squished. The bookmark got squished. Um, but that's okay. Okay, so that's that. This is the artwork that comes with it. Kind of cool artwork, actually. Do love that. Mm, nice. Oh, Threads that bind. Look at that cover. And then the sprayed edges. Oh. Oh. And then on the back. That's amazing. 
And then, oh, there's a reverse dust jacket. Okay, so we've got under the dust jacket. It doesn't go all the way around, but we do get a reversible dust jacket. This is the reversible dust jacket, which is kind of cool. Let's have a look what it says. I probably won't use the reversible dust jacket. I like the normal ones. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the end papers. So the end papers. And then this side. Is it different? Yes. Yeah, That's cool. Okay. Ready for my horrible reading? <coughs> In the city of Atlante, the descendants of the Greek gods live alongside mortals. Lau is a Mori-born descendant from the Fates. Sure. Uh, she can see threads, shimmering silver lines connecting every person. When a relationship is formed, a new thread appears. When a person's life thread is cut, it's their time to die. Lau Io, Io, maybe, uses her gifts as a private investigator, trying to make ends meet in a world which treats other born people like her with suspicion and prejudice. When Io is witness to a murder, but this is no ordinary murder, Io can see that the killer's life thread is severed. They should be long dead. More complicated still, there is another witness. Eddie? E-D-I? E-D-I? Sure. A member of the violent Rossi mob who rule Atlante. And what Io can see immediately, although... Aida can't, is that there is a bright silver fate thread connecting them. This boy is her destiny. Ooh. Io and Edie are thrown together to solve the case, and Io grips, grapples with the dark secrets luring beneath Atlanta's surface. She must decide whether to embrace her fate and give in to the feelings growing between her and Edie, or whether to cut the thread and set him free. Ooh, that kind of sounds really cool, actually. Oh, there's a rabbit on the cover. And a snake. Okay, or is it a crocodile? I don't know, but look at the cover. There's like a rabbit and a snake. I like the sound of that. Quite, quite interesting. Okay, uh, the next one is Go Reap What You Sow, and it's for people who like Gideon the Ninth, Belladon, the Bone Season, and two fandom neutral things. We're thrilled to reveal that the book will include a pair of metal bookends and a glass tumbler. I'm keeping it then. <coughs> Okay, so things I, let's go with things I don't like first. So I'm not massively keen on the hidden book because I feel like, you know, you could have given us a metal one or something else. Um, no special bookmarks. Well, sorry. There was the, the magnetic bookmarks, which are quite cool. Um, I do like the socks. I do like the coasters. Absolutely love the tarot cards. Honestly, compared to the last couple of boxes, this is probably one of the better ones, and they've kind of redeemed themselves. Um, they tend to do that. Like, every third or fourth one, a really good one comes out. But then it may be just that it's not for my interest. So, when taking that aside. But if I was to give this a rating, it'd probably be 7 out of 10. So, um, the thing that saved them was definitely those tarot cards. But, yes. Okay. Let's look at the owl crate now. It is upside down. Let's look at the owl crate now. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm going to cut into this. There we go. I hope you haven't seen my dress, but let's have a look at the owl crate and see what is in this one. I haven't been spoiled for this either. Okay, well, thankfully, they put their spoiler card on the top, which is called Beneath the Curse. I'm not going to read that. Okay, there's little squiggly things. Hello, okay. I'm going to put the squiggly things in here. So then I don't have to... Ooh, there's some nice stuff in here. Hello. 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 Ooh, is that a diary? I think I see a diary. Oh, my God. Okay. Whew. Okay, get rid of them. Quick, before the light's fading, because it's fading. And it's fading fast. First thing is Treasure Tome Limited Edition pin and this is a spinning silver one i kind of wish i got the crescent city one but that's what happens oh 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 now i see why everyone likes them okay so this is the spinning silver book oh you're gonna focus hello so it's actually like a locket look 
How cool is that? I haven't read Spinning Silver, but I know the um, traditional fairy tale. So, but that is amazing. I love that. That's cool. Makes me want to collect all the others. Okay, next thing I see is this the bag? So it's this little square thing. Is this a little tote bag? Oh, it's got a carabiner clip on it. What are you? Oh, you are. Oh, that's cool. So it is. <gasps> it's House Moving Castle. <gasps> oh my God. I'm not crying. I'm so emotional today. It's a House Moving Castle tote bag. It even has calcifer. Oh my God. And Sophie and Hal. <gasps> it's beautiful okay sorry it's like you can't see it super well but it is gorgeous that's house moving castle <sighs> oh my god okay okay two for two two for two okay the next thing is no idea I don't know. oh it's a sun catcher Okay, so the sun catcher is based on Violet Made of Thorns. Oh, it's in like this sticky thing. I don't know why. Ugh. Oh, okay. You're hard to get open. <clears throat> I just saw the diary. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> oh my gosh! That is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so first off, it's got this beautiful moon, uh, sun, sorry, and then it's got the moon with writing on it. What's it say? My curse, my ruin. Oh, and then it's got this beautiful, like, shimmery stone on the bottom. That is gorgeous. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, okay. Three for three. I'm going to put this back in its little box just so I don't ruin it. This next thing though, okay, oh, oh, oh my god, okay, so the next thing is in this, it says on the front, how to live forever, okay, and it's like a diary, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind, oh, okay, 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 I see what you did there, Alcrate, I see what you did there, so this is it here. This is just, I think, just a paper book. But, like, look at that. Look at that. And it has a ribbon. Okay, so it's a diary within it. Oh, it's like a paper journal. Oh, and it's got flowers on the pages. Oh, okay, fit. Okay. I nearly said fairy loot, but this is definitely our crate. Wow, our crate. Wow. I love that. I love that. Oh no, they've given us highlighters. Our fairy tale highlighter set inspired by the Wrath and the Dawn, Six Crimson Cranes and To Kill a Kingdom is the best set to have for highlighting and attain your favourite books. Each highlighter colour matches the three books and features a quote from each book that embodies the magic and light of fairy tale telling. Okay, okay. Please ignore my dog whinging in the background. Uh, his toy is stuck under a lounge. And I don't want to go downstairs because my light is fading and fading fast. But it's these three highlighters. So this is the first one. It's purple. I don't know if you can see the quote on there. But the quote says, After all, every story has a story. Then this blue one which says love and madness are two stars in the same sky and then the final one which says find the light that makes your lantern shine that is adorable okay so they're double ended so there's um your chisel point on one side and a fine point on the other so that is very very nice i feel like our crate is paying a lot more attention to 
what the bookish community are actually using and wanting than fairy loot right now but anyway okay i think we're down to the book let me see if there's anything else in here before we get to the book uh -uh. yep okay so we are down to we've got the next one is through the seasons we will have a look in the minute and then we have the um little book that comes with it so the book is called garden of the cursed by Kat, uh, katie rose pool oh okay okay and it's secrets cannot protect me only the truth can oh that's cool okay let's open this up because i want to see inside and it's purple so fairy uh, our crate i keep saying it oh my god um our crate is now doing sprayed edges because you know everyone wants sprayed edges but this is just beautiful oh my god okay 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 look at this i just oh my god our crate oh my god and then inside hello the brewery spell shop <laughs> oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then inside's got a reversible dust jacket look <coughs> oh my gosh hello 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 that is amazing since okay so we'll read it now i'll read it now since fleeing the gilded halls of ever garden for the meek field canals of the marshes marlo briggs has made a name for herself as the best curse breaker in cara cara Bar city but no matter how many cases she solves she is still haunted by the mystery of her mother's disappearance when andreas fell crest marlo's old crust and seek seiko i don't know of one of the old city's most influential spell making families asked her to help break a life-threatening curse milo wants nothing to do with the boy who spurred her a year ago but a new lead in her mother's case makes milo realize the only way to get the answers she desperately seeks is to help andreas and return to ever garden society even if it means suffering through a fake love affair with him to avoid drawing suspicion from the conveying five families. As the investigation draws Marlo uh, into a web of deadly secrets and powerful enemies, a shocking truth emerges. Andres's curse and her mother's disappearance may be just being clues to an ever larger mystery, one that could unravel the very foundations of Caravas and magic itself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this matches this. I see what they're doing now. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Okay, so before my battery runs out, um, I'm going to quickly wrap up this. Okay, our crate, 9 out of 10. The only thing they probably could have done better, I don't know, maybe giving me a bookmark? Um, but honestly, for all the items that it came with, it could be like... For all the items it came with, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, Beast Fairy Loot. I just, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Owl Crate. 10 out of 10. Fairy Loot, 7 out of 10. Owl Crate, 10 out of 10. Just shows you box size means nothing, people. Box size means nothing. nothing. Okay, very quickly, before we go into it, um i'm not going to the spoiler card because we don't need that um next oh my god next month's um spoiler on the back is the next wooden door story doorway is that lord of the rings they come next one next month comes with the doorway look at that oh my god i'm so excited i've been wanting to get a doorway and i couldn't and now i really want it please be akatar please be akatar please be akatar okay it doesn't even say doesn't say 
I will find out though. It better be Akata. I don't care if it's not Akata. I, I honestly just give me a door. Don't care. Um, in terms of both of them, our crate was a bit of a whoopsie to order this month, and I am very happy that fate delivered that whoopsie to me because I ordered it thinking I was going to get the August box with that door, um, and it came out with July as well. So I don't care. I am very happy with both of them. Um, I am probably going to move with the fairy loot um, to the book only one. I have signed up for that. Don't know when that's going to happen. Or I might even just change the romance one. Um, in terms of our crate, oh my god. Uh, since I stopped subscribing to them probably a year or more ago, they have improved astronomically. Like, I can't get over it. But yes, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you everyone for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. And I'm so close to a thousand. So close. But yes, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, please remember to keep on reading. Keep the magic alive. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for visiting. Bye. Hi, lovely people. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, focus. Hello, Aiden. Can I finish this, please? Thanks. Okay, Aiden. Hello, Aiden. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. You go up there. No, you go up there. Go up there. Go. Up. No, no, no. Aiden. Get your butt out of my face. Thank you. Since they're not going to let me read it, and I'm running out of light. Oi, come here. Popo, Odie. Yeah. Enough. Enough. Uh. Oi! Odin. Stop it.